So guys, you've been working on your songwriting, and I figured I'd bring a little guest along to help you out. Oh my gosh! Hi! Hi, guys, how are you? Everyone, this is Ryan Tedder. Hey. I am a huge One Republic fan, and working with Ryan Tedder would be crazy awesome. Hi, I'm Josh. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Kennedy. Hi. Kennedy is the biggest Ryan Tedder fan. I mean, that's all she does, Ryan Tedder. And I'm so happy that she got the opportunity to meet him. How are you feeling, Kennedy? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of crazy seeing you from a camera telling me you got on the show. Hey, Kennedy, this is Ryan Tedder. You have just been cast on Majors and Minors. <laughs> And then now being in person, like this is wow. This is cool. <laughs> I'll admit I'm not the best on stage and I want to learn how to work a crowd, but I'm also very influenced by One Republic. Ryan Tedder is an amazing songwriter, an amazing singer, and their music is just so awesome. I love it. You know, I'd love uh, to open up the floor for some QA stuff with Ryan. What was it like hearing a song that you wrote on the radio for the first time? JLo's first single. Two albums ago, yeah. called Do It Well. I was driving down La Brea, and it came on, and I was just like, rolled the windows down and turned it up so everybody else around me could hear it, and then went and bought myself a double-double. <laughs> just as I could. It was awesome. Did you start out songwriting, or did you start out you know, singing? That's a good question. Um, I'm not really sure which one came first. I did a lot of sports, but then I discovered theater when I was in ninth grade, and then became obsessed with it, and I actually thought I was going to go full-time into into theater. So I guess I was performing first, technically, but then I started writing songs. The first song I think I ever wrote was like, I was 15. I started seeing artists on TV and on MTV, and one day I was sitting there and I was like, I could write a song better than that. And it was like, I'm gonna see where this leads me, and yeah, here I am. Question? Uh, how old were you when you found out music was what you wanted to do? Seventh grade, so I guess I was 12. I remember in career day, they brought in like firemen and different people uh, had their dad come in who did this and did that. And I called the radio station and I had the DJ come down. I was like, I was having to lower, I was having to lower my voice because it was cracking. And I was like, oh, I want you to come down to my high school. <laughs> and uh, I remember saying in class that I wanted to go into either acting or music. If I'd had this opportunity, I would have freaked out. What's your favorite concept to write about? Or do you just like write about anything and everything? The most valuable thing at this point is concept. That and melody, a killer concept, kind of is bulletproof. I want to pursue um, a career in songwriting, and I've been kind of nervous thinking that I might not necessarily keep coming up with great ideas for songs or great melodies or lyrics. I come up with lyrics a lot on airplanes, in cars, probably the last eight songs I've done. I just clear the room out for like 10 minutes, and then the melody or the chorus will come to me, and then I'll put music underneath it. Because if you can write melody with no music and, it's, and it sounds super catchy and super good with nothing, then it'll sound even better when you add all the music. He doesn't necessarily do the same thing for each song and that kind of helps change up things for him. Just kind of have to figure out um, like a drum beat or a piano melody or something on the guitar and then he'll start working on lyrics or it could be the totally other way around. Hearing from someone that's written so many songs gave me that reassurance knowing that I could do it and I won't have to deal with that kind of problem. tradition for all of our mentors where they sign a chair back. And oh, we'd like cool. for you to sign oh, yours. Oh, <laughs>